let's just show that the eigenvalues of Hermitian operator are real. So what we're going to do is to use this um, property here. Uh, we'll take the uh, sum function. Well, actually, let's. Uh, this is for a particular state of the system n. So let's take a state of the system. We'll take the complex conjugate. We'll operate by this Hermitian operator on the same state of the system. And this will give you some sort of, uh, this is the expectation value. This is the expectation value of the observable in state n. We want to show that that's equal to, or no, given the fact that this is a Hermitian operator, and the fact that this Hermitian operator means that this is the definition of a Hermitian operator, complex conjugate times psi n. And again, these are integrated over some region of space, or actually in this case, from minus infinity to plus infinity of d tau. All right, let's switch to Dirac notation, or the Brockett notation we introduced in a previous uh, section of this lecture. So what we want to do is this is a little easier to uh, write down. We want to show that uh, operate, this is that part, operate on a wave function psi n. And then over here, remember in the Brockett notation, things on the left here are complex conjugate. And this means, in this case, integrate over all space. We want to show that that's equal to uh, this quantity in Brockett notation. Okay, so that's what we want to show. Um, also, we know that an eigenvalue, or a particular, just say in general, a, n a number is a real number. If A is a real number, not an imaginary number, then A is equal to its complex conjugate A. Well, let's just see. Suppose 3 is a real number. If we take 3 complex conjugate, that's equal to 3, because there's no i to take the minus sign. Let's take, by contrast, this complex number. If we now take the complex conjugate, we'll have uh, 3 minus 4i. So remember, to take the complex conjugate, you change i to minus i. So this number is not equal to that number if you have an imaginary number. But if you have a real number, it is, it is um, the complex conjugate of imaginary no or of a real number is equal to that number. So if A is real, the only way you can get the complex conjugate equal to its number if A is real. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. Our supposition <clears throat> is that the we have a eigenvalue equation. So this is equal to the eigenvalue corresponding to that state psi n. And now this is just a number, and that can be brought out, a sub n, and now you have the psi n, psi n, and if these are normalized, that's just equal to a n. All right, so we've shown that this side of the equation is equal to a n. Let's go ahead and do this side of the equation in direct notation. All right, remember this is the complex conjugate, so that's equal to A corresponding to that state times psi n. And remember on this side is the complex conjugate, so we have to rewrite this, take the complex conjugate of n, uh, of A sub n, that eigenvalue, times psi n, psi n, and that's just equal to A n complex conjugate. So, um, this side of the equation is equal to the complex conjugate. So if A is equal to its complex conjugate, A sub n, this implies that A is real. So we've shown that if A is Hermitian, if A is Hermitian and obeys this relationship, then the eigenvalue and the complex conjugate of the eigenvalue have to be equal.
and the only way to have those equal is that to make the eigenvalue equal to a. So we've shown that in fact the eigenvalues of Hermitian operator are real. Oh, that's kind of cool.